Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you for all of your support, all of your likes, all of your shares, all of your comments. If you are interested in a private reading, please just click on my website. I do have it linked below in the description bar. Lastly, I am on social media. So I am now on Facebook. If you're interested in liking my page on Facebook, please do. I am also on Instagram. And if you are interested in receiving a daily Oracle guidance message, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day to my Instagram account. So if you're interested in that, then please head over and, and follow me on Instagram. Oh, and, and one last thing, um, for these general tarot forecasts, you should always be sure to watch not only your sun sign, but also your moon sign and your rising sign. If you happen to not know what your moon or rising sign are, I do have linked in the description bar below a website that actually can calculate that for you for free. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Just stay tuned for the reading. Hi Taurus, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 14th through the 20th. This is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising Signs. So Taurus, let's get started. Taurus. I do have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. So this is you, Taurus, your energy. Being very practical, grounded, down to earth. Financially, I think it's going to be a good week for you, Taurus. All right, so the overall energy Taurus for the entire week is the strength card. Very nice. So you have that, that inner strength, that courage that you need. The strength card represents control. So I feel like just looking at the rest of the cards here, I think that this is all about you being in control, Taurus. I feel like this is a week where you're taking control. I can see that you've had to be patient in the past. You've been waiting for something, Taurus. And I do think that the strength card for you, yes, is showing me that you're strong, but also I think it's talking about you taking control, honestly, this week. This is beautiful. I do have the King of Rods here. So for some Tauruses, this can be your energy. And then for other Tauruses, this can be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries person around you, or someone with the King of Rods characteristics. Um, that might be quite significant this week. Um, you might have been waiting on something to do with this person because I have the Nine of Rods directly underneath the King of Rods. And the Nine of Rods represents waiting, being patient, you know, waiting it out. This person's tired, exhausted. They're starting to feel hopeless. They've been waiting it out. Um, it might have something to do with either something you're passionate about, or it could have something to do with this character, this person. You know, but if you have been hopeless or starting to feel hopeless um, and you have been waiting, just know that um, there's a very positive, clear message that goes along with the Nine of Rods, and it's don't you dare give up right before the miracles occur. You've come this far. You know, just hang in there a little bit longer. And I do think that this, this is the week that, you know, those miracles could be coming in because I have the Nine of Cups directly next to the Nine of Rods. You have the Nine of Cups, which can be a wish card, a wish fulfillment card, but this is also emotional happiness, abundance, you feeling good, feeling content with something. And I do think it's because you've taken control. Um, I do think that you've wanted whatever this is. This could be something you're passionate about. Um, this could have something to do with your career. You've wanted this very much. I have the Four of Pentacles here, which can represent you hanging on tightly to an idea or just something that you, you want. Um, 
you know, it can be something that brings in a lot of security for you as well. The, the Four of Pentacles is showing me, um, you know, that you have that security, but also maybe you've been hanging on tightly to this. Now, I have this, the Hanged Man here as well, across from the, the Four of Pentacles. So this can be that period of suspense, that stagnant energy, feeling blocked, feeling stuck, needing to take a step back and, and have and gain a fresh per perspective, take a step back and, and look at the bigger picture, you know, gain that fresh perspective. But because I have the strength card here and I feel like this is you taking control, I feel like, you know, things might have been stuck or you might have been in this stagnant energy where you've had to wait for something, but I do think you're taking control. Um, for, for many of you, this can be your energy of the King of Rods here. You know, he's, he's a man who's, he's a man of action. He's very ambitious and he's, he's impatient to be honest. He's more of an aggressive king and he, he takes action. He goes for something. He goes for it. Um, he's very ambitious, very fiery, very driven. So for many Tauruses, um, you know, the strength card is that Leo energy, which is that fiery energy as well. So I feel like this is your energy for some Tauruses because it is, this is your overall energy for the entire week. So, you know, for some Tauruses, this King of Rods is going to be your energy. Um, next to the Hanged Man, I have the Temperance card, which is that divine guidance, that divine energy around you. This is your angels and your spirit guides around you, helping you, guide you. Um, this is also you being emotionally balanced. And I do think that, um, you know, there's healing coming in. The temperance card is very much um, a healing energy. And I do think it's coming in. You've been waiting on something, waiting it out, patiently waiting it out. And I do think that you're, you're taking control. I do feel like um, you are receiving a, a blessing this week. There's a beautiful blessing coming in. And I do think, um, you know, there's healing energy coming in as well with this beautiful blessing. And that's why I don't think that you're in this, um, you know, this energy anymore because you've taken control. I do have the six of pentacles here with the ace of cups. So this is you receiving a beautiful blessing from the heavens. The six of pentacles is, is giving and receiving. It's that generous energy. And then I have this beautiful ace of cups here. So this is a beautiful blessing that you're receiving, a beautiful new beginning, you know, literally brought in by your angels. You have your angels and your, your, your guides here in the reading, and it's directly on top of, you know, temperance is directly on top of the Ace of Cups. So literally, this is a blessing coming in for you. For some of you, this can be you know, something that you've been waiting on clearly, but this can be, you know, a relationship. This can be, you know, a birth of a baby, conception. This can be, you know, a new home for some of you, a new job for, for others. You know, can, this can be just about almost anything that's going to bring that emotional satisfaction, that emotional happiness to your heart. So very beautiful. Um, again, some Tauruses might have been wishing for this with the Nine of Cups here. So very beautiful. Honestly, you have some beautiful energies coming in, Taurus. Let me draw you an additional guidance card. So some additional guidance for Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know? Please show me. Mystique, keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Beautiful, Taurus. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. So that is exactly another reason why we have the strength card here at the center, which is courage, persevering, keep charging ahead, keep continuing on being strong Taurus um, 
you know, Tauruses, Taurians were some of the most strongest, um, you know, people around. Um, you know, we have that inner strength naturally. We were just born this way, right? Um, so yes, keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. So I think it's going to be a great week for you, Taurus. I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I hope you have a great week. Take care.